everything around us, even our actions, are impacted by big data. The phenomenon took shape later in the last decade since big data became a driving force behind the food industry revolution. We human beings tend to generate lots of data each day, from heart rates to our favorite songs, uh, fitness goals, and movie preferences. Forbes says that there are 2.5 quintillion bytes of data created each day. And according to an estimate by IBM, we are receiving 300 times more information than we had in 2005. These are some mind-blowing statistics. So, how do we exactly collect this enormous amount of data in real life? The answer to that question is data mining. Data mining is basically a process used to collect and turn this raw data into useful, uh, useful information. So nowadays, data mining is rapidly advancing, and so is our ability to analyze and understand this copious amount of data. There are now a growing number of compelling ways in which big uh, data analysis is being applied to solve real-world environmental problems. Climate change has moved to the top of the list of global risks and affecting every country and disrupting economies. Out of many promises that big data have made, environmental sustainability is one of the most important ones to be implemented and maintained. So, let us look how big data can help us achieve environmental sustainability. So before we talk about this, I have uh, separated the impact of big data into three categories. Uh, the first one is big data in healthcare and uh, in sustainable cities and communities. And the last one is for climate change. So let's start with the first category, which is uh, big data for healthcare. Nowadays, many countries are collecting a large amount of public health data from the hospitals and healthcare providers and now they try to translate this data into understandable information. This information are then used to improve the healthcare of people. Big data has enabled us to monitor the well-being of people and also monitor and visualize the rate of infectious diseases, such as COVID-19 in different locations using big data analysis. For example, in South Korea, they combine big data with deep learning AI to monitor and map out the rate of infections of COVID-19 in different places, which is very useful in taking effective um, actions against the virus. In this way, South Korea was able to uh, lower the cost of the rate of infection and save millions of lives from the deadly virus using advanced technology and big data. And so now let us move on to the next category, which is uh, big data for sustainable cities and communities. So basically, a sustainable city should have a good transportation system, a good um, efficient energy supply, effective healthcare, and full access to clean water. So we can use big data analytics to make our cities and community more eco-friendly and sustainable. And so first of all, big data analytics can be used to monitor and control the traffic in different regions by analyzing and visualizing these data collected from GPS devices and satellite images. Uh, this can help the city transportation management to be a lot easier and assist public transportation to be more timely and accurate. Moreover, big data can also be used to uh, track down and reduce our carbon footprint. In addition, big data uh, analysis can help us monitor and control electrical energy supply based on the energy demand in different places. So the developed countries are now starting to use the thing called smart metering systems, uh, which, which uses artificial intelligence and big data to plot and map out the energy demand and supply patterns in different locations at different times. Uh, this can help uh, as to estimate whether to increase or restrict the flow of electricity to reduce the energy wastage and ensure that adequate supply of electricity is uh, reached at peak hours. Furthermore, big data helps us uh, monitor and calculate water rates 
anywhere in the world based on various parameters uh, related to water quantity, water quality, and other changing regulatory issues in different regions. In this way, we can map out and identify the places that they'll have access to clean water and take necessary actions to uh, provide these specific places with um, resources they need. So these are some ways that uh, big data is helping us to, to have a sustainable cities and communities and make our cities more efficient. So let's move on to our last category, which is uh, big data for climate change. <clears throat> Nowadays, scientists and meteorologists are uh, using big data analytics to and big data analytics and combining them with deep learning AI to track and predict the rate of global warming in the future by collecting the enormous amount of climate data from the weather station around the globe. This can help us draw plans and procedures to take climate actions against this global warming, which is an enemy that each and every one of us is facing right now. Agricultural businesses are also using uh, big data analytics and deep learning artificial intelligences to um, analyze and forecast the rain and the amount of rainfall. By focusing these uh, rainfall and rain, uh, this enables the businesses and farmers to efficiently grow their crops and reduce the feathers. And another thing is that big data analysis can also use uh, can be also used to analyze data from different sources such as um, satellite images, geospatial platforms, and simulators to one natural disaster, support disaster management, and facilitate a rapid response to these hazards. In this way, business, uh, in this way, the big data can uh, help us save millions of lives and properties from hazardous disasters by taking safety precautions in advance. <clears throat> and also by combining and analyzing big data from satellite images, crowd source, um, witness accounts, and the open data, we can track deforestation in different places around the world. This can assist us in tracking down and taking effective actions to reduce deforestation in different regions, which is one of the main causes of climate change. So in short, these are how big data is helping us achieve sustainability in the three categories that I have mentioned. So now it is clear that big data and analytics are redefining the climate change and environmental policies of the governments. In fact, Big data seems to be an indispensable uh, component of the climate policies. Big data technologies uh, have been able to process enormous volumes of complex uh, climate data and establish correlation when required and help us provide real-time analysis whenever we need it. And almost all the tools that I've mentioned above have the ability to provide us with real-time data whenever we need it. However, big data can only do so much. Effective environmental actions are required with all the information that we have gathered to achieve environmental sustainability. We can use the useful information and insights that we have get from the big data analytics to make step up um, efforts to uh, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and strengthen resilience and adaptive uh, capabilities to uh, to climate-induced impacts, uh, including climate-related hazards in all the countries. We can also integrate climate change measures into national policies, strategies, and plans, which therefore spread in um, environmental awareness and also improving our education system. So after all, it is up to us, to uh, the people of the world, to take concrete actions in order to achieve environmental sustainability in this world. Thank you.